Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play All the Games. I'm Andy. I'm Katie. And today is Katie's X Files Collection Special. Awesomely massive X Files collection. Which we've been talking about for a while, but it uh, took a little bit for me to go to my grandparents' house and uh, grab it. But <laughs> starting with these so. three. Our this three, is uh, our recent collection. Yeah, I got uh, Katie those for Christmas. The X Files pops. Which they even made, made cigarette smoking man cute, which I don't know. Which how is that's hard to do, possible, to be honest. But... Yeah. And of course, good old Mulder and Scully. Um, the only fourth one in that line, uh, the only fourth one. There's only ever the a fourth alien, one. which is kind of it's generic shitty. looking. Yeah, so it's just a stupid little gray thing. Like, why didn't they make Skinner? You know, Skinner deserves Agreed. a toy. And he should have a toy. Speaking of toys, and as my shirt says, Mulder <laughs> and Scully and Skinner and cigarette smoking man. <laughs> so, Katie, uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, well, these I just had to get these out of the way. Uh, these are the original. Well, well before, before we do that, yeah, let's, even, like, let's get into like what's what are we doing here? What are we? Uh, X Files is yeah. basically my f most favorite thing ever in pop culture. Um, this is true. Uh, I remember Silent Hill was actually second for her. Yeah, nice. Uh, God, what was it? 1994. No, 19, 1993. 1993. Yeah. I remember uh, we went through the the TV guide, which I don't even know if that exists anymore or even. I have no idea. I think it may be only online. They had a like yeah. a fall preview issue, and I remember looking through it with my mom, and it was in that preview issue was a little synopsis of the X Files, and we were like, "Oh, that sounds really cool." This show about like paranormal activity and stuff like this. So I was like, "Well, we're gonna watch that," and I remember. We tuned in for the pilot episode, and I was, like, sitting there like this. Like, it was so scary to me. But, um, so basically from the moment the pilot, like, from the original moment that the pilot episode aired, I was a huge X-Files fan. Like, that was just, and it became my life. I was also a really good student, so all the money I made for my straight A's, uh, went to buy X-Files. Went, went to buy uh, X-Files crap. And I don't even want to know how much money I spent on my X Files collection over the years. But basically, in junior high and high school, X Files was it for me. Like that was my life. And I just had to get these out of the way because we've got a yeah, ton of stuff. She's got a lot to go through. We'll but show you the highlights. We're just, but... just going to show you. You're probably not going to see everything because we'll probably cut some stuff out. But uh, of course, the movie uh, X Files: Fight the Future, which came out in the summer of 1998. I want to say June 19th. Uh, they released action figures, which honestly were not that great. They're not that great. This is, uh, and I think some it, of these, it was always like some the of these figure actually, plus something. Some of these actually say series one, which I don't even know if they came out with a series two. This is, uh, this is Scully in I think her, they in to her like in. Arctic, uh, um, parka, uh, but she's with the alien thing. Which I was thinking of this earlier. Um, the aliens were humans that were transformed Go, into aliens. In yeah, the because the, the aliens in the movie largely were the ones affected by the black oil that yeah. were transformed. So they start out as humans and then yeah. become aliens. This is like the most generic one ever. This is the firefighter, I think, who might... Fireman is what it's called. Yeah, Fireman, who I think is called at the very beginning of the movie and gets infected and then he becomes... This is where the aliens were sort of like... Uh, nesting, you, you get nesting, kind of in the, nesting in the human um, body. Yeah. There's oh, there might be an explanation. Oh no, it's just explaining Mulder and Scully. Yeah. I don't need them explained to me. <laughs> I know who they are. Uh, another one. This is Mulder in his Arctic uh, parka thing happening here, and then this is uh, one of the pods that they were keeping the people in. This is a this is a person that has not transformed into the alien quite yet. He's having um, a shit day. Yeah. Yeah, he's having a pretty bad day. That guy, uh, yeah. Same thing. Same thing as the last one. This is, But this is Scully now in her uh, Arctic gear. Although, when Scully went to the Arctic, uh, she was uh, in the pod. Like, uh... But, but toys. <laughs> but toys, though. <laughs> She, she didn't get to enjoy her trip to Antarctica. She was Does already, anyone? She already had the tomb down her throat, which I was also thinking about that earlier. Like, how bad is it that Mulder, like, when he first goes in there, he just, like, rips the tube out of her throat, which is probably down in her stomach, and you might have caused some actual damage doing that. But he's just like, no, fuck it, I gotta get it out there. I mean, at that point, <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, and then, uh, this is Scully wearing some, uh, evening makeup. She's got like dark lipstick and uh, some eyeliner on. Evening FBI Not, not really man. looking too good on her, but uh, I think this is one of the guys who was infected but they wrapped him up and so she doesn't quite know what's going on yet. Also, I love that all of these included the little cell phone. 
Mm. Which back this was back before. That was cell back phones in the day were, when cell phones, cell phones were, the, were not really a thing. Uh, this is this not looks like some like Nokia brick had. thing. The Nokia um, brick, like I love that. That is you know what we know. That's what it looks like. I mean, this isn't a smartphone. Yeah. This, this is when you called somebody on your goddamn phone. Literally every, oh wait no Mulder has got the flashlight the other Scully one has a cell phone as well I do think um, there's I think and, there's and, and all the Scully ones have cell phones because there has you know to girls be... like to talk on the phone a lot so um no I was gonna say um shouldn't there be a Mulder in uh, his suit there probably is and I there's a Skinner I too I didn't have all of them there might be a Skinner those are the ones that I had oh because finding them was not so easy for me. Note to self. But yeah, I, maybe I do need Start to track them down. Start using my scavenging powers for good. Of okay. course, underneath all of these action figures, the box is not... It, it's been... It's been beat. It's actually not in terrible bit, condition. It's been... It looks like some stuff has been sat on it. And Okay, so uh, give you a little... This is also Fight the Future, uh, summer of 1998. This is a surprise for you all, I promise. I told myself I was not going to buy these because at the time I was anti-anything super girly. Bullshit. So when, they, so when they told me that X-Files Barbies were coming out, I was like, there's no way I'm going to buy them. Like, Bullshit. Uh, we went to Toys R Us, and these were sitting in the, like, collector's case, and I probably stared at them for at least half an hour in the case, and they were so pretty that I eventually was like, I have to buy them. So these are the, this is, it's not, these aren't Scully and Mulder Barbies, it's Barbie and Ken as, as Mulder Scully and, and Scully. Mulder, yeah. Scully and Mulder, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would make more sense. But yeah, collector's edition, I've had this forever. <laughs> um, I, I just had to buy them. They're really cute. And they've got all the, like, movie posters on the side here, which is really cool. Um, I don't know how much money I spent on those, but, uh... <laughs> oh, the case is cracked, I just noticed. Oh, that's... Scully even has her gold, uh, crucifix necklace. Ugh. Which that. is a nice touch. Which is now not even. But you probably can't see it on the video. <laughs> which already, is now not even. She's got her gold cross on there. <clears throat> so... It's somewhere in here. As far as we can tell... The entire concept term, rather, of shipping, shipping goes did back start to with Mulder, Mulder and Scully. Scully. Like the referring term, to it as the, shipping. The term specifically shipping Shippered, something yeah. starts shipper, with shipping. Mulder and Scully. And I was yeah. a huge shipper. It started in third season. I think probably the episode Pusher was what uh, pushed me Which into being a shipper. Would be the episode that this guy was from. Who's that? Mulligan, but that's the Pusher. Oh, that is yeah. Yep. So, Modell is actually his name. Watch as I segue Modell. neatly over to a little bit of the X Files collectible card game. The collectible card game. This is where I checked back in because I did play this for a while. It was an interesting game. It was all about guessing your opponent's X File, but trying to get to the point where you won enough something in a turn to ask a question. You you had like something like three things you had to rule out. It was like method and type and whatever. And you had to guess one of those, and if you got that right as a yes, then you could ask, is your X-File the? So it was like trying to eliminate things. Um, I never actually played. I but I have like all the cards. A lot of it. She has all the cards. I actually played a lot. But um, this was one I found. I actually have some of my cards left over. I have the rarest of the rare card, but it's in a different box, and so I okay. couldn't get to it real quick for the video, which is called Deny Everything. That was only available in Inquest magazine in one month, but not all of the magazines that month. All of the magazines that month had Mulligan. But some of them, instead of Mulligan, actually had Deny Everything in it. And one magazine that I know of in the history of Inquest had Mulligan and Deny Everything because I fucking found it. And I never opened the plastic, and I traded that to somebody for an ungodly amount of X-Files and Star Wars cards. And as cool as it would be to have that to show you that they're both in there and still in the plastic... The cards were worth more to me at the time, and I think they still were because I was playing the game. But that's the real quick card I found off the top of my pile. Katie has some hard plastic ultra rares to show. Her. But I never played the CCG, which is really sad. Yeah. But I do have... It was actually pretty fun. I do have a couple of ultra rares for the CCG. <laughs> X, um, most notably. Yeah, I have uh, Lone Gunman. Yeah, Lone Gunman, too. It, um, uh, it, X, interestingly, one enough, of all Mulder's three of the... Um, I was going to say, all three of the Lone Gunman had individual cards... But the Lone Gunman card was a card that had all three of their abilities. You could do whatever you wanted. That was all three of them. So, interesting thing. I don't know specifically why this one, like, what this card actually does, but uh, this is an ultra rare. It's, called, it's called Crycheck Possessed. I, I uh, he's you. got the black oil in yeah. his eyes. Um, uh, so. While you're looking, let me see him. 
Uh, Men in Black, which that one is Jesse Ventura. This is from Jose Chung's uh, fun, or no, Jose Chung's uh, From Outer Space. Yeah. Oh, I was mixing it up with another episode. Um, but I, I have no Ooh. idea what these cards mean. This is another ultra rare. That's weird. Uh, nurse Owens, which is the nurse that looks over Scully during the uh, One Breath, I think is the episode, when she comes back from her abdu uh, abduction. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually... Uh, oh, shit. No. He's good. Yeah, this is actually a card affecting combat, so uh, I don't think if you had card check, this I was good to fuck up enemies. Mesa. And then I got Melissa Scully, which yeah. is Scully's sister. I feel but like she's also an ultra rare. I do feel like most of these ultra rares actually came from the one of the two expansion boxes. Um, I think this is just a rare, set. but okay, that's Cl Clyde, Clyde Brockman's yeah. uh, final repose. One of the most uh, important and considered one of the best episodes. We and now we're getting out really... of uh, out of card game. And into, I'm probably not uh, going to show too many of these up, but I did think this one was kind of cool. This is from the Fight the Future trading mm -hmm. card deck, which, if Our you look at it, set, it's yeah. just a... Black card. Black card, but let's see. It should still work, because it worked the other day. Yeah, it's, it's, a, like it's a, called a mystery card. It's, it's numbered like on the back, heat, so you can see which one yeah, it is, look, but... Yeah, how cool is that? It's a heat-sensitive card, which is really cool. There were apparently six of them. Yeah. They're called six mystery insert cards. And, uh, yeah, you I can don't see even which know, one's which. I don't even know what that is. It, Oh, it's an alien fetus thing. Oh, good. You can see the face right there. I'm glad you have a collection of alien fetus thing cards. <laughs> this, I think, a uh, store just gave me randomly. This is like comic book art on a poster. Mm -hmm. I think this, I can't remember where I got this one. But they just had it in a bin. I was like, I really want that. So I think that might be like the very first comic book. Back in the I 90s had. when posters were the shit. Because posters are not the shit they used Which to Which I be. basically, this is like way posters too many, are not way too many posters to, to deal with rolled into one thing. <laughs> like, I mean, this is, I love the art of this one. You have a smaller version of that too, I don't do you? I do have a smaller version of it too. Like Nobody can see roll. what you just showed. They saw a little bit. Those, <laughs> those in the know. <laughs> those in the know want to know, know what the rest of it was. I think this is for, oh yeah. This oh, is this, is the cool. this is the uh, now a video ad. When they released the VHS tapes originally, this says first time on video. This is a little promo poster that came out for that, which was apparently on my wall because it has little marks from where I put the. Yeah, I was wondering how many of these actually ended up on the wall. I don't know. I probably rotated them out. <laughs> yeah, well, anything that has like one yeah. of those, it's been on my wall. Yeah, there's the smaller one of that art. I really like this art. This is pretty cool. What does this even say on there? I don't know. Friday's, Friday's on Fox. There you go. That's old school. That's that's like, back. That's yeah. like first run. That's back before Fox first, was fucking first, up their first shows three regularly. Seasons, I think. I don't even know where I got that poster from. It might be like a. a it, this might. I feel like this might be a European poster. You know, when you think um, about it, it's actually kind of amazing that I mean, this predated Fox's cancellation of everything phase. That the X Files made um, it. Um. This is the promo poster for Emily specifically. I'm like, sorry yeah. Enough, but <laughs> this also might be a promo poster. I don't know. I yeah. just, I just bought stuff randomly. I didn't give a fuck. Promos for individual I episodes. Think it was X Files. Is I bought. Okay, this is my favorite thing. Yeah, ever. this is the most important one. Um, so, in 1995 or 1996, I want to say 96. Like? Okay. I want to say 96. Okay. Songs they in released the key of X. An, they released an album called Songs in the Key of X, which is was actually like a huge critical hit. Um, had, uh, let's see, William S. Burroughs and R.E.M., Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Elvis Costello, Sheryl Crow, Danzig, Filter, Foo Fighters, Screamin' Jay Hawkins. Back in the 90s when you could buy Soul CDs. Soul Coughing, Rob Zombie, and, and Alice Cooper. And they carried CDs at places. Um. I miss those days. So it was an album, in, it wasn't songs from the show, it was songs inspired or like, Well, one the or show. two of them had been used yeah. in the show, though. Um, music from and inspired by the X-Files. Yeah, some of it was inspired by, some of it was used in. So this... Uh, notably Red Right Hand by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Which was in the episode Humbug yeah. from the second season. So this was the promo thing that was sent out to record stores for them to uh, promote the album, except this one has not been cut. It still says... Yeah. On, it still has the cut line on the side, and it says... Do 16 million voracious X-Files fans care about this album? Cut this page out, put it on your wall, and watch what happens. If someone hasn't stolen it by the end of the day, send it back to us, and we'll eat it. 
So this was so actually this designed origin, to be is, stolen. Yeah, this is the original artwork for the album. Which uh, is really good. Cool. Or like promo artwork yeah. for the album. Uh, the fact that they designed it that. to be stolen. Back when, you know, record ads and things like that knew their audience and knew what they were doing. Again, I miss walking into a CD store and having a multitude of CDs to buy. But I'm a grognard. I'm, you know, set in my own I'm going to have to fold all of those up again. Oh, oh, this one is pretty ex-exposed. This has some pretty shippy uh, images of me <laughs> yeah, think? having and Jelaine Anderson. And I think this was the one where Chris was like, "There." if you actually read the interview, Chris Carter was like, they're never going to get together ever. Like this. Which, uh, you know, happen. he was wrong. From A to X... Another, apparently, David Duchovny two-parter, which I've got both of them, but I'm not going to take them out. I am impressed at the Ziploc baggies and everything. That's cool. What the hell is this? I don't know. I don't know either. It says the X-Files Diary. I don't even know what this is. It's literally oh, it's, a diary. It's, it's a day planner, but it says the truth is out there. And, uh, oh! Apparently it's got some little X Files quotes. factoids, some like paranormal history factoids. In September 1974, family, families in Dublin, Scotland, saw a troop of Roman soldiers marching through the countryside. The troop was said to be the unlucky ninth brigade killed on the site in AD 117. It's got a bunch of different little it's random. paranormal facts in there. I don't know why I bought this. Chris Carter, at age 39, what have I done with my life? <laughs> I know what you... <laughs> I know why you bought this, because it said X-Files on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like me with Force Awakens stuff currently. Top secret. <laughs> Eyes only. Yeah. That's got some cool Mulder Sally artwork in it. Okay, this, this right here. If I only show... This if is if the gem. If we only cut to one thing in the, in the episode. Which, oh, no, I do need that. This, this is, is the gem right here. This is my uh, junior high planner. You know how they hand those out at the beginning of the year. Well, I decorated mine. <laughs> it's, uh, you can tell. Okay, this had to be my ninth grade year because this little center image is from the 1997 Golden Globes where uh, David and Jillian went together. And uh, she won Best Actress in a Drama, and she kissed him on the lips when they announced her name. And I about freaked my shit and, out. And also, can I just... You need to be able to read the things around this picture. The uh, little cutout statements. Oh, God, no, you don't. This, this is terrible. Have you ever kissed your true loves on the lips or whatever? No, have you passion ever, have you ever kissed passion on the lips? Well, yes, it does. A taste of what? Cookies? Is that what that said? What? It tastes oh, it as tastes good as, good as, as it looks. looks. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Katie was once a teenage girl. And then this was the back, which has the famous uh, Us magazine where she's licking him. She was a teenage girl. I think that's from Pusher. No, wait, that's not Pusher, is it? That's not. I don't know. Uh, this I is can't Ice. See it. This is Pusher. This is Memento Mori. Little shippy moments that I printed out on my color printer at home and uh, taped on there. That's a little Katie artifact. That's, <laughs> you, won't, you won't see this in any other video because this is mine specifically. Mad Magazine from June 1997 with X-Files on the cover. Oh, Entertainment Weekly, 100 Greatest Shows of All Time. I'm not going to show you that one, but X-Files was in the top five. Nice. Uh, Entertainment Weekly, February 1999. Chris Carter needs a haircut. X-Files. Entertainment Weekly, July 10th, 1998, X-Files. Pull all of these out of here. Oh, careful. Oh, you're doing that. I'll fix these. Uh, June 12th, 1998, X Files. <laughs> uh, shit. January, January 1998, X Files. That was a different look for Jillian. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, November 29th, 1996, X Files. Can I just say this looks a little soap opera y? Um, I don't know. Yeah. This one that doesn't have X-Files on the cover. Oh, this is good. March 10th, 1995. That's when the X-Files was just popping yeah, off. Yeah, just starting. Well, um, not just starting, but just popping, you're right. Uh, October 9th, People. 1995, People Magazine. Again, when the X-Files was just, like, becoming, like, a huge thing. And I think you alluded to this earlier. Us Magazine with Jillian licking David on the cover, which was a huge deal. <laughs> uh, this is from... Uh, 
Doesn't say. Oh wait, May 1997. Oh yes. All right. Apparently so first we'll of all, Rolling Stone, uh, Jillian, doing her little monster. I seen some thing. of these pictures from her back then. It's Which interesting. We didn't even mention it. This behind us right here. I have a poster of it. Uh, this is Rolling Stone 1995. This is the Australian cover. It says X Files Mulder and Scully uncovered. This is the actual release in America version. Uh, Rolling Stone, May 16th, 1996. Mulder and Scully, or David and Jillian, in bed together. When this was released, this was the highest selling issue of the magazine ever. Like it, yeah. It was a huge deal. So this is the actual magazine that came out. I was uh, I was just gonna make a note too. It's interesting to see a lot of these pictures of Jillian back in then on these covers. Because she looks very much like her, the way she was doing her makeup, facial features, hair, and everything. She looks a lot like Mila Jovovich, actually. It's weird. But even back in May, like, 19, not that one. But even like back this one. in May 1996, Mulder and Scully boning was a huge deal. And when this, when this, it, I'm, like I'm not even kidding. No, this, no, it's just that you said the phrase no. Mulder and Scully boning. When this issue came out, it quickly became the highest selling issue of Rolling Stone magazine ever. Just to give you an idea of how huge of a deal that was. So, season one episode guide, pulled out season one episode guide, which is, this is weird. Kind of cool, actually. It almost strikes me as this would have been like something free. Like, just at, like, checkout, take with you or something. That's... I don't know. Once again, countries outside the U.S. get cooler stuff. Yeah, Even uh, Australia I do remember being jealous of some of the stuff Australia got yeah, that we did Yeah, especially didn't get. Australia. It must have gone really big there. Uh, this is just holding, which I alluded to, the VHS tapes originally, of course, oh, when they released Actually, you didn't mention them. this at all. No, when I was showing the poster earlier, I talked but about the VHS tapes. But not the cards, but, though. Yeah. Uh, they, they, it was before DVDs where you could release the entire season, so mm -hmm. they had to pick certain episodes to release on VHS, and these are the little artwork cards that came with all of the yeah. VHS Well, tapes. and they, they did release the complete seasons yeah. on VHS, too. Not that I know. No, they did. When did they do that? Um, no, I know they did, because my buddy Borden they let me borrow them. And uh, I watch like complete seasons. The officially released ones only had specific episodes on I them. Thought as it was far complete as I know. seasons, but I, I Unless can Unless you got them bootlegged, because mm, as, as far as, as I, I know, know, it was a real deal. But uh, I'll have to look that up. Early. I thought they existed. Like I remember borrowing them and watching like all the tapes, like for the first season. The officially released ones yeah. only had certain episodes. I, uh, on. I I swear to God, X Files comic stuff. Looks like these are two anthology things, possibly. And uh, not for sale in Canada or the USA, so <laughs> apparently I eBayed the shit out of these. I'm wondering, um, who was the Tops? That's weird, when Tops briefly was making comics. I forgot about that. This is a graphic novel. Which makes me feel like there was a card included. The in Ground Zero is based on one of the standalone novels that was released, <laughs> and they made a comic based on it. And then we start out with season The artwork one. on these is really cool because there's like this 50s, or not even 50s, like this film noir style. I'm not even going to show you all of these because I have all of the comic books. So we don't need to go through can all I Can I just grab one of these though many. to show off the covers? Because it's really one of the ones you just showed. Like, I really like. You're liked. probably looking at the season one ones. Um, maybe. Yeah. yeah. They had this really cool film noir style artwork. Really, really cool stuff. I love the film noir era. So to see that like included sometimes with this really just is awesome for me. This I had to pull out. <laughs> this is, uh... Oh, so, you got a close up on this. You get you uh, got to do as it as a promotional thing for the X Files movie Fight the Future. <laughs> uh, in May of 1998, they did these things called the X Files Expos, which I think were in like four different cities around the country. Uh, one was in Washington D.C., which was within driving distance of us. And so we went there, and... Are you ready? This is me sitting at Mulder's desk. This was in front of a green screen, but... Yeah, they put me in Mulder's office, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> That's her sister. Yeah, her, me and my way. sister. Um, uh, this is the official map of the X-Files. Which is a really cool idea, because they mapped out the locations of where everything took which place. Which is another little fold-out thing. And it's got a U.S. map, and it's showing you, like, where all the cases took place. Which I, I remember, sure. too, early in those days before they got to Anasazi and the merchandise and everything. Um, the main mythology thing, like, if you had mapped it out and people did, it was, like, circling and circling and getting closer and closer 
to West Virginia. Which, well, a you know, lot of it took place in West Virginia. Yeah. And actually, I believe that there are rumors that Mulder might be, his little house that he lives in right now might be in West Virginia. Nice. That's That'd be cool. Going around. If. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Maybe it was the triple packs, but I thought it was the full episodes. So maybe it was the triple packs. This is the. And uh, I thought they were full seasons, and that's what Katie was talking about. Katie's likely more right than I am in terms of what collect, was released. Or a collectible car game promo poster. Yep. Those I did get to see everywhere. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, maybe it was the triple packs, and I was thinking, like, those were the real deal, but... Yeah, they couldn't have released all of yeah. the episodes on that. Yeah, Katie's probably right, because, I mean, it is X-Files, and she doesn't know it quite Here good. are my tickets to the X-Files Expo. They're in this little thing. God, I don't even know. We'll pack <laughs> it from the official X-Files fan club. When that existed, I don't know if it does anymore. I, I need to start it. that shit back up. <laughs> so, um... That's a that's a pretty good trip down uh, through X Files. And this isn't rain. even all the crap I have. Yeah. I was trying to get a hold of my binders full of cards that are still. We, it'd in my be interesting house. to go through all those, yeah. And this isn't everything. <laughs> like, there's probably stuff still <laughs> sitting in my grandparents' basement. I'm super obsessed with the X Files. Have been uh, for 23 years now. <laughs> it's okay. So uh, yeah, this has been a fun trip down memory lane. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And now we have to figure out what we're gonna do with all this stuff. Woo! Put it somewhere that's not on the coffee table. I'm thinking yeah. that's my plan A. Plan B. We'll get to that. So. I just put these in here. <laughs> Make it rain. Oh well. But anyway, so that's good about do it for us. Um, yeah, my voice is about shot already. Yeah. I'm so keep watching. Um, make sure to watch the rest of the X Files uh, new season. There's three episodes left. Mondays at eight o'clock. Yep. Uh, on so Fox. Three left of that. And yeah, uh, that's going to do it for now. So until next time, see you, Space Cowboys.